So good morning everyone. Welcome to the Urban Harvest Teaching Garden. This is a uh, newly established garden. It was started in November of 2019 and already you can see it's quite productive. It was uh, uh, constructed last year through a generous donation by the Green Mountain Energy Sun Club. And so uh, as you can see on the, um, on the sign, and so it, it is an inner city garden in Houston, just east of Houston downtown. And it has some very unique features. For instance, over here on the, on the right side, or my right, there is a 2,500 gallon uh, rain barrel by metal rain tanks. And so we collect the rainwater from the building where we office called headquarters across the way there. Uh, it's hooked into their downspout and then it comes over and fills our rain tank. And as you know, Houston rains quite a bit. So, uh, so far we haven't had issue, too many issues of running out of water, but um, uh, you know, we, we try to just use the rain water from the rain tank to water the gardens. Then uh, the rain tank is hooked into a low emitter type of irrigation system. And so that is powered by a uh, solar panel, which is up here on top of our storage shed. And so that's where we get our electricity through that solar panel. And so it waters all of these beds, including the container gardens there by the shed. So the purpose of this garden is to teach others how to garden here in the city of Houston. And so um, it was created with different types of materials. It may seem a little odd to have different materials and not consistent, but the idea was to show that you can make a raised bed out of different materials. Uh, in Houston, we have very bad soil. It's, it's a clay gumbo, so it retains a lot of water. So we want to start with really healthy garden soil in a raised bed. This one is a uh, man-made um, paved stone type uh, re uh, retaining wall uh, brick. It's quite large. It's larger than most paved stones, and it's probably about three feet tall. Here we have a cinder block. It's probably the hollow cinder blocks, but they're capped off and they're all cemented in so that they were not going to move. And so we have five beds like that. And then we have another five beds that are from a manufactured um, type of uh, pressed material here. This is a pressed material and then uh, the kit includes these um, corners and then you drive post and join the corners and then it has a top plate. And so we, and those are a little taller. Those seem to be like, oh, maybe three feet. And so we have five beds like that. And then there's the last set of beds. Well, there's actually two more kinds. There's the um, cedar wood. It's dimensional cedar. And so it is about inch and a half thick. And that is non-treated with no preservatives in that. And then over to your right are some uh, cattle troughs that we are horse troughs that we purchased from a local feed store and then use those for planters, especially for like herbs. So here in the garden, uh, we have uh, Miss Priya. She's our lead gardener here in the Urban Harvest Garden. So I'm gonna turn the mic over to her and she's going to tell you a little bit about what she's planted. And again, like I said, this only started in November of last year. So that would make it about eight months. So uh, let's talk to Priya and see what, why she, this garden is so successful. Thank you. Welcome to our garden. Um, this garden is very successful because we are following the guide guidelines set by Urban Harvest for the type of soil, how to how to raise the beds. And there was a question that how do I keep it looking so beautiful and well maintained? Well, if you read Dr. Randall's new book, it says how to avoid thousand mistakes in a garden. So the gist of it is that plant according to the season, our zone, our, we are zone nine, and, uh, and the varieties that are recommended for this, this area. Like if you look at our cucumbers right now, we have some great big cucumbers. Look how beautiful our basil is doing, our tomatoes are doing good, because if you went to the store, you could buy 20 varieties of cucumber seeds. But right now in this heat, only Suyo Long does well in Houston. So that's what we planted. We planted suyo long cucumbers as recommended by Urban Harvest. So if you follow our guidelines, you'll have a great, beautiful garden. That's my trick. And another thing is like, there's so many simple tricks. Like look, the flowers are very beautiful. Uh, the reason they're looking so good is because we deadhead them. 
see these are spent blooms this one is done blooming so I would I would pick it and drop it off and and don't let your flowers make seeds like see they're making seeds now when a plant makes seeds it takes a lot of energy so I usually take off the dead ones and drop them so they're always making new flowers and looking very pretty so there are lots of little tricks like that and also we are mulching very heavily like you'll see you won't see bare soil anywhere we are mulching with five to six inches of hay and that's uh, that's keeping the roots nice and moist and it regulates the temperature too so there are lots of little things which help our garden to look beautiful and now we're going to go to the pollinator beds we have uh, we have this pollinator beds under the oak trees it's a shaded area 